Biosphere, Wikipedia article audio. The Biosphenra, also known as the Ecosphere, is the worldwide sum of all ecosystems. It can also be termed F2CM Hajimb.B.JL as the zone of life on Earth, a closed system, and largely self-regulating. By the most general biophysiological definition, the biosphere is the global ecological system integrating all living beings and their relationships, including their interaction with the elements of the lithosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. The biosphere is postulated to have evolved, beginning with a process of biopoiesis or biogenesis, at least some 3.5 billion years ago. In a general sense, Biospheres are any closed, self-regulating systems containing ecosystems. This includes artificial biospheres such as Biosphere 2 and Bios 3, and potentially ones on other planets or moons. Origin and use of the term Narrow definition the term biosphere was coined by geologist Edward Seuss in 1875, which he defined as the place on Earth's surface where life dwells. While the concept has a geological origin, it is an indication of the effect of both Charles Darwin and Matthew F. Morey on the Earth sciences. The biosphere's ecological context comes from the 1920s, preceding the 1935 introduction of the term ecosystem by Sir Arthur Tansley. Vernadska defined ecology as the science of the biosphere. It is an interdisciplinary concept for integrating astronomy, geophysics, meteorology, biogeography, evolution, geology, geochemistry, hydrology and, generally speaking, all life and earth sciences. Geochemists define the biosphere as being the total sum of living organisms. In this sense, the biosphere is but one of four separate components of the geochemical model, the other three being geosphere, hydrosphere, and atmosphere. When these four component spheres are combined into one system, it is known as the ecosphere. This term was coined during the 1960s and encompasses both biological and physical components of the planet. The Second International Conference on Closed Life Systems defined biospherics as the science and technology of analogues and models of Earth's biosphere, i.e., artificial Earth-like biospheres. Others may include the creation of artificial non-Earth biospheres for example, human-centered biospheres, or a native Martian biosphere as part of the topic of biospherics. The earliest evidence for life on Earth includes biogenic graphite found in 3.7 billion-year-old metasedimentary rocks from western Greenland and microbial mat fossils found in 3.48 billion-year-old sandstone from western Australia. More recently, in 2015, remains of biotic life were found in 4.1 billion-year-old rocks in western Australia. In 2017, putative fossilized microorganisms were announced to have been discovered in hydrothermal vent precipitates in the Nouveau-Jitic belt of Quebec, Canada that were as old as 4.28 billion years, the oldest record of life on Earth, suggesting an almost instantaneous emergence of life after ocean formation 4.4 billion years ago and not long after the formation of the Earth 4.54 billion years ago. According to biologist Stephen Blair Hedges, if life arose relatively quickly on Earth, then it could be common in the universe. Earth's Biosphere Every part of the planet, from the polar ice caps to the equator, features life of some kind. Recent advances in microbiology have demonstrated that microbes live deep beneath the Earth's terrestrial surface, 
and that the total mass of microbial life in so-called uninhabitable zones may, in biomass, exceed all animal and plant life on the surface. The actual thickness of the biosphere on Earth is difficult to measure. Birds typically fly at altitudes as high as 1,800 m and fish live as much as 8,372 m underwater in the Puerto Rico Trench. There are more extreme examples for life on the planet, Rupel's vulture has been found at altitudes of 11,300 m, bar-headed geese migrate at altitudes of at least 8,300 m, yaks live at elevations as high as 5,400 m above sea level, mountain goats live up to 3,050 m. Herbivorous animals at these elevations depend on lichens, grasses, and herbs. Age Life forms live in every part of the Earth's biosphere, including soil, hot springs, inside rocks at least 19 km deep underground, the deepest parts of the ocean, and at least 64 km high in the atmosphere. Microorganisms under certain test conditions, have been observed to survive the vacuum of outer space. The total amount of soil and subsurface bacterial carbon is estimated as 5 times 1017 grams, or the weight of the United Kingdom. The mass of prokaryote microorganisms which includes bacteria and archaea, but not the nucleated eukaryote microorganisms may be as much as 0.8 trillion tons of carbon. Barophilic marine microbes have been found at more than a depth of 10,000 m in the Mariana Trench, the deepest spot in the Earth's oceans. In fact, single-celled life forms have been found in the deepest part of the Mariana Trench, by the Challenger Deep at depths of 11,034 m. Other researchers reported related studies that microorganisms thrive inside rocks up to 580 m below the sea floor under 2,590 m of ocean off the coast of the northwestern United States, as well as 2,400 m beneath the seabed off Japan. Culturable thermophilic microbes have been extracted from cores drilled more than 5,000 m into the Earth's crust in Sweden, from rocks between 65-75 degrees C. Temperature increases with increasing depth into the Earth's crust. The rate at which the temperature increases depends on many factors, including type of crust, rock type, geographic location, etc. The greatest known temperature at which microbial life can exist is 122 degrees Celsius, and it is likely that the limit of life in the deep biosphere is defined by temperature rather than absolute depth. On August 20, 2014, scientists confirmed the existence of microorganisms living 800 m below the ice of Antarctica. According to one researcher, you can find microbes everywhere they're extremely adaptable to conditions, and survive wherever they are. Our biosphere is divided into a number of biomes, inhabited by fairly similar flora and fauna. On land, biomes are separated primarily by latitude. Terrestrial biomes lying within the Arctic and Antarctic circles are relatively barren of plant and animal life while most of the more populous biomes lie near the equator. Experimental biospheres, also called closed ecological systems, have been created to study ecosystems and the potential for supporting life outside the Earth. These include spacecraft and the following terrestrial laboratories. Extent No biospheres have been detected beyond the Earth. Therefore, the existence of extraterrestrial biospheres remains hypothetical. The rare Earth hypothesis suggests they should be very rare, save ones composed of microbial life only. On the other hand, Earth analogues may be quite numerous, 
at least in the Milky Way galaxy, given the large number of planets. Three of the planets discovered orbiting TRAPPIST-1 could possibly contain biospheres. Given limited understanding of abiogenesis, it is currently unknown what percentage of these planets actually develop biospheres. Annual Variation It is also possible that artificial biospheres will be created during the future, for example on Mars. The process of creating an uncontained system that mimics the function of Earth's biosphere is called terraforming. Artificial Biospheres Extraterrestrial Biospheres Biosphere 2 in Arizona, United States, 3.15 acres, BIOS 1, BIOS 2, and BIOS 3 at the Institute of Biophysics in Krasnoyarsk, Siberia, in what was then the Soviet Union, Biosphere J, an experiment in Japan. Microecological Life Support System Alternative at Universitat Autonoma de Barcelona.